All right. Uh, yeah, let me see. <laughs> I was gonna message him to tell him to call back, but I'm like, yeah, we can just call him if he answers. He answers. Hello, Tom. It's Rob. I, I, I meant dude. to tell you to stay on the line to give us a couple seconds. <laughs> Oh, my bad. I was going to call back. All right. Oh, that's yeah, cool. Right. No, I thought about it because uh, I had just been outside and I came in and I, I was like, oh, yeah, but <laughs> I, I, I didn't know. What's going on? Freematic from Dark Moon. Yeah, man. How's it going? Just the um the drawings and everything, it's it looks amazing. Like yeah, it's definitely yeah, something I'm going to do. Yeah, that guy's got a sick art style. He does. I wanted to yeah. ask you how you uh, came across him. Did you search like for an artist, or did you guys just meet like by chance? Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. I so I I come from a music background. I mainly produce music, and I I wanted to do something with an artist um more visually um because it's really hard just to sell music without a video without I've been getting into videos. Uh, so anyway, um, I just went out and looked at this site called DeviantArt.com, and um, I was actually going on there for other reasons, too, just looking for art and stuff, and I had no idea. This site has, like, I mean, like a million amazing artists on it. Yeah, yeah. I, I was going to ask work. if it was still big, because I remember when it first yeah. came out, a lot of people were getting on it's, there, it's, it, and I used to animate on Newgrounds, and a lot of people oh, I knew okay. were putting stuff on DeviantArt. It's also got a lot of abominations on it, DeviantArt. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of, like, garbage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's like but hit or miss. Uh, but the good stuff, no, far outnumbers the, the awful Oh, show. okay. Yeah. And I, like I said, I didn't know if it was still as like popular as it had been when it first first uh, came on the scene. I hadn't even heard about it, so I found it out. I was like, "This is amazing!" And it just happened to be what I was looking for. Um, and I so I found the guy. I just saw. I just looked for science fiction art, um, and I found a dude that he was in the Philippines actually. And I'm just like, "Well, let me just email him and see, you know, if he if he's interested in doing a comic and." If he's ever done a comic before, and, um, and so it just kind of worked out. It was actually the first artist I hit up. Wow. Um, cool. Everything worked out, um, you know, and so we go back and forth via email when we're making a comic, um, and he just sends me files, and uh, I just email him what the next picture is going to look like, and I draw my crappy uh, version of the picture, and then he turns it into something good. Nice. And real quick, I wanted to say, uh, for, for, you know, for the audience out there, um, the premise is... Uh, science fiction uh, slash horror series and w what is it some some astronauts or, or something that they got they answered that they were trying to find uh, I, th I thought it as like uh, a planet that sustained life but they got sucked in by like a distress call correct right yeah to, to a um, planet and they just end up on this planet in the middle of this situation with these evil creatures and yeah. um and yeah part of the whole series is also just music based so it's just supposed to give you this it's a perfect setting, like sci-fi horror, for like a creepy feel um, type of music. So it's almost like an album when you listen to the, you just listen to the soundtrack, or you can, you know, watch it without the sound. And it's a, either way, you know, it's like yeah. a, it's an experience both Slim, ways. Slim said too, like because I had ran, you know, to the store for a coffee and came back, and he was watching. He said he loved the music. It was yeah, just, it yeah. really made. That was actually one really of the first made. things that had stood out to me was the music. It really like it set to, the mood and everything. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I, I tried to do something a little different than most sci-fi, where most of it's like very cinematic. Um, I tried to use what I normally do, which I don't really have control of what kind of music I make. Um, it's just kind of whatever comes out. But it's like kind of a little bit of uh, hip hop with a little electronic. And so mm -hmm. combining that with sci-fi, it's like I thought, you know, I had the Reese's peanut butter idea. It's like, oh, maybe if I combine these two, it's gonna be really cool. And uh, you know, so I think elements of it, and then it gets kind of creepy and more classic music. But uh, you know, I love all those old movies, John Carpenter, all those old, um, you know, horror movies with the great soundtrack. So it's just like trying to create that creepy feel. Nice. Cool. Now, do you do all the uh, sound effects too for it? or? Yeah, we create most of them. Uh, me and my, my friend uh, does some of them, and uh, we, we create them all from scratch. Um, cool. I mean, some of them are, you know, have elements that are um, kind of already like pre-designed sound effect elements, but... Um, Luckily, as a as a guy that's I've been in the music tech, you know, kind of biz and doing the music stuff for a long time, I just have access to a ton of gear, and um, so we have tons of ways to make cool sounds. So yeah, all the sound effects, 
like the alien growls, um, are all actually created with a modular synth. Um, so it, uh, you know, it's kind of like this really kind of freaky and original sound that we layer and stuff. So definitely. Nice. And, uh, what is it too? Like that you, these guys got the, to that planet, but then it's like, there's like killer aliens, uh, um, on the, on the moon. Yeah. It's pretty much like the shitty situation. It's like they went from trying to escape a disaster on earth. Yeah. This guy, the main character, Dante has a, has a, um, teleporter. He just finds some random people that is next to him because he knows this meteor is about to hit. Um, they, they have this t- transporter that might work. They get on there, so they survive that, but now they're on a planet um, or a, a moon, but it's uh, near, you know, near, it's uh, revolving around the planet. Um, and it's got these creatures on it that are trying to eat them. And, uh, you know, it's, and then they get into uh, finding about more about these other aliens that are on the planet. And um, so then the cool part is, is number three, they come back to, it's, it's on its way, the story's on its way back to Earth. And um, cool. I was, that's kind of the original idea was have these creatures on Earth, bat, big battles, um, you know, just a nice. giant kind of action scene um, type of type of story. I like so too, they found, I take they found like what they thought was like maybe going to be safe. It was like, you know, a building or whatever. And then they get in there and then there's just more of these. More of these creatures, like it was pretty fucking crazy, work. man. Yeah, it's cool. I saw too. You said in your email that you're gonna um, end up putting um, so, putting it on uh, YouTube. Uh, I didn't know if um, you were gonna get voice actors for that. Yeah, that's what we're thinking. Um, that's what I would really like to do um, because it would be kind of hard to uh, have just the speech bubbles, and I don't even know if I want to even have the speech bubbles or just have it just voice acting. Um, Probably won't be like um, with a complete animation, um, you know, but something in between where things are moving, people are talking. It's kind of psychedelic in a way. It's, it seems fade and, you know, um, kind of like this old school animation where they sometimes was kind of rough around the edges. So I'm not sure hmm. how much it's going to be animated, but it's definitely going to have more moving parts. Um, yeah. And also it's just kind of a, it's an easier way to watch it because people can't, um, you know, um, the, it's kind of limited the way it's available now. It's very cool if you take the time to uh, to grab it, but you know, YouTube is just so so straightforward and easy. Everyone has YouTube, so yeah, so, yeah, that's just um, easy. And I saw too. You said the first three episodes are free. Are you going to charge um, for the graphic for the animated comic? Um, after yeah, we're that? trying to yeah, I'm trying to figure out what to do with that uh, because um, the first three it's kind of like the Star Wars idea where it's like. I'm doing three, and then I'm taking a little break here, and then well, we're, we're kind of retooling at this point. Then we're going to do three more and three more. Um, so, you know, we're actually I've never made a comic before. Um, this guy that uh, the artist that does great work, he's never done a comic either, and we jumped into a motion comic and a uh, wow. So we're kind of like trying to pace it so we don't go too fast. So we, I think it could get better, um, you know, in the next when we take it to YouTube. So we're going to take a little break. Um, we're actually going to release like an album, some prints, um, just some stuff to kind of, um, you know, kind of give it, you know, uh, I mean, the clothing would be cool too. Like a, you know, that alien, the red scene where the aliens kill this guy, um, that whole turned into a, like a sweater. I mean, like a, um, like a hoodie, you know, that'd be a really sick thing we really wanted to do. So that's awesome. So, is, is this um, your first project like this? Um, I've done music projects, a lot of music projects. Um, I, you know, once did an album with just my iPhone um, in 2010. Um, did a whole album and that got a lot of press um, because it was, you know, it was uh, unique at that time. Everyone just loved the iPhone, you know, at the moment. Cool. And um, I've done a lot of. I did that video. I said that uh, like a Halloween um, theme, that zombie video. This is the first comic that I've ever done though, so it's. Um, so it's, it's a learning process, but luckily in the music background, I know how to kind of put out an album, the promo, and all that kind of stuff. So, okay, that's cool. You know. And um, do you know where it's going? Do you have the whole thing written yet, or are you still coming up with it as you go along? It's kind of like half-half. Um, kind of like um, I know the general area of each. I, I consider it like nine story, nine-part story arc. Um, and so we're three deep into it. Um, and then, um, so I kind of know, but also the dialogue is not written at all. Um, it's not even fully outlined. It's more of just kind of jumbled up in my head. So it's not all written out yet. Um, and also things change. Definitely. It's kind of like, you know, it just depends on what fits. Sometimes it's what fits the special effects we can pull off. Uh, 
you know, you have to change it just based on that. Okay, yeah. Right. Now, are, are we calling them episodes or issues, and are you just doing nine of them? I've been trying to call them, uh, good question, I've been trying to call them episodes a lot because I really don't think of it like a comic issue. Even though we do have our first one, I'm going to send you guys some. Um, the first one is an issue where it's, uh, you know, a standard comic book, but I'm kind of just considering them episodes because they're they're really not, you know, we actually want to talk to print comics from indie develop, uh, indie uh, distributors, but about doing a, a print comic, but as it is right now, it's just kind of it's more of a like a TV show, like an episode. Right. So, um, and we're planning on doing the nine, and so we we're actually going to redo the three in YouTube format, and then and then you know probably offer it in a bunch of different formats, um, but mainly going to switch to the YouTube format, just because then you can watch them on YouTube. It's uh, you know a set of nine videos. We also have our music videos and you know stuff like that to watch. So. I don't know if you were tired, Pete. I'm sorry, yeah. real quick, Freematic. I, I don't want to interrupt, but uh, I, oh, I, yeah. our, our no buddy Pete is tired, and yeah. I just gave him a vitamin B. I didn't know that'll that'll help him out. What, what are you guys drinking tonight? <laughs> I got oh, Heineken's, uh, and then we had some Hennessy shots, and Ooh. I I got some uh, chilled or non chilled, non chilled, but I have yeah. uh, some chilled uh, Jaeger in the freezer, so you can get that too, Pete, if you want. Yeah, I'll grab that. Yeah, I'm, I'm just no, I'm drinking my fancy craft beer. And, and, and Slim has some uh, plastic some whiskey. bottle whiskey plastic that our bottle. buddy uh, Dave brought us. Fancy craft beer Ooh. and uh, plastic bottle whiskey. Oh. <laughs> American, American, American Eagle or Old, old American. Or something. It's Windsor, <laughs> Canadian. Windsor. I... Uh, it's <laughs> <laughs> What's your drink of choice, Freematic? I am I have right now an eggnog and a Coors. Both, you know, I used to sh I used to think Coors was horrible, and then I, I worked at a radio station for a few yeah. years, and we went on a gig once, and I'm like, this is actually isn't bad. Like, I don't know why I always made fun of this. I, I can, like, I can drink it's like I, I could have lied, but it's I'm just honestly that's what I have. Yeah, it's, it's not the worst <laughs> thing I've ever had. It's it's not a Milwaukee's Beast or anything like right. that. Like, Milwaukee's Beast. Yeah. <laughs> I hate the Beast. Oh my God. Well, what's the other one? There's one other one. Keystone or oh yeah, oh, yeah. Keystone light, Keystone, Keystone just black like dirt. <laughs> I think like sometimes yeah, you find yeah. like fucking fingertips in it. And shit. <laughs> yeah, like, it's like seltzer yeah, with natural like... ice. Natural oh, ice. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's another yeah, one. I used to know an old guy that it's like yeah. all he drank was Natty's ice. Oh. Was he one of the janitors man. where we used to? Work no, to work this guy, or? a German guy, Heiko, that we used to. Oh work with. really? He drank that. He was a cool dude too. Natty's ice. Oh my god. God, that's yeah. probably dead now. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, if you're drinking that, you, you deserve to be. If that's your drinking fucking choice, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yes, exactly. Roll, rolling Rock, I drink. I uh, actually enjoy Rolling Rock. Yeah, Rolling Rock, I like. Oh man, it's not funny. the best. It's yeah, it is garbage beer, but I, I, nah, I it. it's really not that bad because of the bottle, so it's better right there. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think they have cans of it too, but yeah, I, the cans are terrible. Cans, anything. Yeah. It's like you, you taste that fucking aluminum. Yeah, like, yeah, you do. You definitely. Um, shit! You totally threw us off there, Pete. Sorry, about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. What um? Do you have um? Do do you have CDs out as well of your music? Yeah, there's a CD of, um, well, there's a CD for the Dark Moon music, and then also I have various CDs and stuff, like the, the, the iMatic thing, the, uh, some other rap cl collaborations I've done with Bay Area artists and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I have tons of CDs. Most everything's at, like, freematic.com, or uh, that's my bank camp that has all the music mostly. And, uh, yeah, now I'm doing a bunch of new stuff, too. I'm trying nice. to work on new music, um, you know, kind of a different style, um, but made a lot of music for this Dark Room comic, so um, I'm actually trying to look at, I have so much music, a movie type of music, so I'm trying to look at something like, um, you know, find a good indie movie to uh, right. collaborate on, something like that, because there's got tons of sci-fi music I'm never going to use, so. Nice. Do you, you uh, make beats, like, for rappers? Yeah. Um, um, I used to, and uh, I still, like, do, I, I don't really, man, like, I, yeah, for a while, I, I just kind of got a bur burnout of the situation. Uh, Bay Area rap is, one of the uh, worst rap scenes in the world. Uh -huh. Like it's just all it's all work and no, uh, you know, no, you don't hear about any rapper coming out of Bay Area from uh, anywhere, uh, you know, else in the nation. You just don't hear it because it's just infighting or what. It's just a crazy situation. I don't even, 
I don't know, but I know it doesn't work. So wow. I kind of stay away from it. Where are you located? Uh, San Jose. So I'm on the low, the south of the bay. So, okay. Um, but, you know, San Francisco, Oakland, uh, uh, all this, all the areas. Um, it's a Bay Area rapper. You don't hear about a lot of San Francisco rappers. You know, you don't hear, you hear about every other state have a rapper. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's, um, Bay Area rap scene is, like, notoriously a troublesome, probably because everyone's either ripping each other off or, uh, you know, I mean, whatever it is, it just doesn't work. Wow. <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> and I uh, hope no, I hope nobody that's uh, really, a, uh, you know, intense about this kind of stuff listens to that and calls me out like this. Some crazy so, people out here too. So, so. Slim said, "Fuck them." What um? It's oh cool. shit. Um, what do you make beats on? Oh man, I love beer. Um, I actually uh, my my day job. I work at Universal Audio. Um, making uh, plugins. Hello, did I lose you? What what do you, what do you yeah. use though? I meant oh. though. Um, like a like an MP3 or like a keyboard or yeah. a program. Yeah. Um. It's all it's all mainly computer based. I use um I have Arturia synths. I use machine. That's the main the hardware piece that I use. Okay. Um and so that's for the drums, I use machine. Um and then there's a bunch of software synths and I got a little MIDI controller. Uh, but then I go into a bunch of effects. Um I just have tons of uh plugins and also uh, hardware um to just send everything through and I have a um, my friend let me borrow this modular synth, which is the craziest thing. It's like a suitcase, you pop it open. And it's just got racks of gear and knobs. And uh, at first, I kind of like, I was intimidated by the thing. I didn't yeah. really want to mess with it. And then I kind of started getting into it. And uh, it's crazy. You can do stuff like weird, weird effects you can't make anywhere else. Wow. Um, so I try to try to mess with that, you know. But, uh, I mean, that goes, like, a whole day goes by. And you're kind of just sitting there going, like, what the hell am I doing? You know, like. <laughs> But Are you some cool stuff. Did you teach yourself or did you go to like, because I know in Florida there's a school called like Full Sail that'll teach you that kind of stuff. I... Oh, yeah. Um, no, I always kind of like was into the gear. Um, got a job at a huge music store a long time ago. So, yeah. And just kind of always, and then I started doing sound. So, just always kind of been into it. Um, and just, I work in a huge music store. I bought, and, I bought and sold like in my house almost every piece of music. Like, it's like a pawn shop. Yeah, I was so going to ask. With... I've seen some cool shit at pawn shops. Like, Oh, I almost got so many deals, and this was before like the pawn shop shows. And I'm like, like I'm mean, like a couple times, like I almost had this like two thousand piece, dollar piece of gear for seventy five bucks. And, <sighs> you know, I'll also come up on all these little things, but uh, I mean, it was, it was you know, it's a pawn pawn shops are they're really sad mostly, but there's also some really cool stuff. Yeah, that's cool, man. And uh, how long have you been uh, working on Dark Moon for? I think it's been about two years, and it's like, once I got the idea, originally it was just supposed to be like, I had the idea, uh, like I was reading a comic book, and uh, which I rarely do, actually, I'm not, you know, I'm not huge into comics, but I, I do like them, and I was listening to some music, um, and I'm like, I like the combination of these two things, um, and so I was thinking like, you know, I'm trying to, trying to sell music, like I say, very artists, or, I mean, any artist nowadays, music. It's so hard to sell music nowadays. Nobody wants to buy. Everyone downloads, you know? Like, yeah. nobody wants to buy albums. Yeah, and, exactly. and so it's like, so I've been doing that for like 10 years, and like I'm like, ah, I don't want to sell just a CD. Mm -hmm. um, so I came up with the idea, let's sell a comic book with the CD. And then it just kind of turned into, like, oh, let's do the motion comic. And that'll put my music right in there. Um, and then it turned out I wasn't even trying to sell the music at the end. I was just trying to make this comic book. Um, and then... I was just going to put out one, and people really kind of liked it. I was going to so, ask, um, like, so yeah, I, what kind of re reply or, you know, reaction did you I, get to it? I was surprised because I was really worried because I'm, uh, if you look at some of the other comments on this uh, platform, Made Fire, um, they have, like, DC, they have all the major companies are doing these amazing comics that are, like, all these effects, all this stuff, I have no idea how the hell they're doing it. And, you know, my comic, it looks real sick, and it's got this real feel to it that I don't think the little ones have, but I thought it was looking really lame. I was like, oh man, I'm, I'm going to get destroyed. But people really liked, I think people really got what I was trying to do with the, the dark feel and the kind of trippy music and the whole kind of vibe to it. Um, and so I was like, wow, people love it. Yeah. And so now I've just been trying to keep it going and trying to develop the whole story um, and just kind of see where it goes. I really don't, you know. 
I think Pete no, said earlier that, that like if you were tripping on acid, it would probably be crazy to. Yeah, yeah, on. I was looking at yeah, the. Uh... Got... Totally. Yeah, the yeah, I've got these like moving images and the kind of yep. heavy music, you know, definitely. I like too how you can move the mouse to change like the angle a little bit and stuff. I thought that was really fucking cool. Awesome. Well, thank you. Because some other guy said it was lame. And screw that guy. Uh, so. yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, no. No way. I thought that was really cool. Like, interactive. Like, why, why I, wouldn't yeah, you want to do like, that? Give you a... Yeah, yeah, it can't hurt, man. The thing's just moving around a little bit. Yeah. I also kind of felt like when I was going through it that it should have like been like a cutscene to a video game that I was going to start controlling one of the astronauts yeah. and shooting like monsters and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> totally. That would be... Uh... Actually, one of my cousins works like heavily in the game industry he's doing he makes awesome level he's a level designer so i've like always wanted to kind of present him or get him get him to get in contact with somebody and really pitch this thing as a as a badass alien game because yeah, i don't know if you cool. guys have tried the, the aliens based video games like i'm a big fan of the alien sigourney and all that stuff i like yeah. the colonial yeah. marine one i thought i was gonna hate it but i actually liked that one. Oh, which one Col i think it was called colonial but marines it was uh a lot of people didn't like ago, it. A lot of people hated it, but I got it for five dollars. A five below. Uh, yeah, I got it. I, really I liked enjoyed it. it, dude. I it, thought it was a that decent. That one was ridiculously fun. And then I tried. I liked that one. Then I, I tried so isolation, and that was horrible. It's really? Like, really? You, wow. you, you, you get no weapons. You just run around, and get eaten the whole time. <laughs> and like, you gotta yeah. like hide. Yeah. Some told me the same so, thing when I got Colonial Marines. I got really bad reviews, and but I'm like, dude, no, I'm enjoying it, man. Like, I really liked it. You have like twelve guns at the same time. It's yeah. like amazing. <laughs> there was one scene like, where you're running cool. through like a planet and it's just really hard. It took me like I don't know five. T and I think the main boss of the game was pretty tough too, but it was cool. I, I thought it was a cool game. Yeah, I loaned that game out to somebody, and I don't remember who it is, but I'm never getting it back. Damn. I love that game. <laughs> <laughs> it was cool, man. Damn. What uh? What do you play on? Um. Well, probably by the end of this weekend, an Xbox One, but because uh, I just saw a deal at Costco. Um, but right now I'm on an Xbox 360. Yeah, I'm still uh, playing I PS3. I'm, I'm still on the I, last I gotta generation. Go. I got to get one because I, I want to play that new Star Wars. Uh, oh, right. Star Wars game. It looks amazing, but, and uh, I want to. I want to also want to get the new uh, Assassin's Creed, and it doesn't look yeah. like they're making anything for the old generation oh, wow. this time. Mm, no. Yeah, it's just you ha pretty much have to transfer. So mm -hmm. I mean, like, um, I saw a deal was like two sixty nine. That's, that's awesome. like a standard price. So it's like I'm like, fuck it, I'm just gonna switch. Yeah, that's really good, man. Yeah. Nice. And it comes with some dumb game, but like Lego Land or something. But <laughs> the Lego games are actually really good. <laughs> They're cool, but PlayStation Isn't actually it? has a Star Wars Battlefield. That was a Battlefield or Battlefront. Uh, Battlefront. They actually have a bundle, bro, for the the, the PS4. Huh. I saw oh, that the other day. That. Yeah. I actually oh, got a... Yeah, yeah. yeah. I actually got a uh, huh. game on PC, and I got Star Wars Battlefront, and it's amazing. It's just beautiful, man, and it feels like yeah. you're in, like, a Star Wars movie when you're playing it. Like, it's they did a really good job with the detail and everything. That's cool. I... I still play the old ones from 10 years ago, Battlefront 1 and Battlefront 2. Battlefront uh, 2 is amazing. I've heard they're great games. Yeah. Yeah, they were great games, and I, I'm like, once I heard about, I thought it was gonna be for 362, and I'm yeah. like, cool, I'm gonna get this game, and then now I have to kind of switch the whole system just for that game, really. <laughs> are Are you excited or nervous about the uh, Force Awakens? Um, I'm kind of, I think I'm like, I don't have that many expectations, and right. I've been pretty yeah. impressed by the previews. So I'm like, I think no matter what. I'll probably get pretty blitzed the first time I watched it, <laughs> just to make sure I'm really impressed. Yeah. And then, uh, the, yeah. the next time I might be more critical, like you know, when I'm watching it at home or something. But uh, but you know, I'm probably just gonna have a great time. And um, I, I don't think unless Jar Jar shows up or something, I don't know. They could mess it up. They could mess it up. But uh, <laughs> looks pretty serious. I heard you're supposed to see Jar Jar's bones or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you're supposed to see his burning gonna, corpse. Kill him all if, yeah. Fuck Jar Jar. <laughs> <laughs> oh man uh shit free Matic, we actually have to wrap this up but thank you so much for talking to us and where can everybody find your uh f where can everybody find dark moon yeah just check out the uh, darkmooncomics.com that's the first place to start awesome all cool, right guys. dude thanks for having me thanks for coming on and uh when it goes up on soundcloud and uh youtube and all else i'll tweet you all the links and all that okay for sure man awesome dude thanks again Thanks, guys.
All right, have a good one. Take you care, too. man. Have a good one, man. All right, guys, we're going to break. We'll definitely check out 